you will see how heartless I can be if this conversation ever comes back to haunt me. Whoa. Now, Law & Order SVU is known for its intense twists and turns, but I truly did not expect the show to return from a break with such a heavy hitter. And I don't think anyone expected that ending. So we have an understanding. So let's break it down. Season 24, episode 19, Bend the Law. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We get the iconic Betty Buckley as our guest star in this episode. She plays the powerful trial division chief, Lorraine Maxwell. But Maxwell's involvement with the SVU goes far beyond professional in this week's episode when her husband, Roger, becomes the main suspect in an underage sex trafficking ring. Please shut up, Roger. While Maxwell initially wanted to believe her husband was innocent, he definitely wasn't. And despite her pleading with him to take a plea deal, admit his guilt, this is the thanks she got in a truly shocking scene. You're such a castrating now, it was wild to see the Maxwell getting berated like this, but don't worry, she gets her revenge. See, Roger just happens to choke on a bite of steak at dinner, and in a jaw-dropping move, Maxwell just watches him choke to death. In fact, she waits until after he dies to call 911. And while his death is definitely suspicious, who's going to accuse Manhattan's trial division chief of murdering her husband? Do you believe me? Whether I do or not, there's no proof to the contrary. He's closed, I guess. Meanwhile, Velasco's trying to clean up his mess, and I truly don't know how I feel about how this is going. Remember, Velasco got in big trouble with Benson earlier for admitting that back in his younger years, his friend Chili carried out a cartel hit for him after he couldn't pull the trigger. I mean, that makes him arguably an accomplice to murder. Well, in this episode, Velasco finally tracks down Chili after Benson's prodding, but it's not how you'd expect. Yeah, that's him. See, Chili's escaped the cartel, changed his name, and become an elementary school teacher in an attempt to start over. Ugh. This was a tough decision for Velasco, but at the end of the day, he is in charge of tying up loose ends. And he records a conversation with Chili where he admits to multiple murders, more than enough to convict. You heard about the drift through Motel Massacre in El Centro? Yeah. That was me. By the end of the episode, Velasco hands over the evidence to Benson, who tells him the whole thing is now officially out of his hands. Well, I'm gonna listen to it, and then I'm gonna decide who to share it with next. But I don't know what she's thinking when it comes to the next steps. What's gonna happen to Chili? And while I'm glad Velasco's proven his merit back to Benson, I don't know. I'm nervous about this. Here's where you come in. Let me know what you think should happen in the comments. Like and subscribe while you're there, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.